versus the Packers. Zeke, I got you on my team. Bennett is here with me. Just plug this in. In the dark. Can you go for a run? Yeah. How many miles do you want to do? 15 million. 15. How about <laughs> we start with a lap or two? Uh, halfway done with our run. Oh. Dallas Cowboys versus Green Bay Packers. Who's going to win? Dallas Cowboys because we're Dallas. There you go. You heard it from Bennett. Today on Supercharger Moments. Squirrel. Is that the name? Squirrel. So, we're going to answer some other of the uh, common questions that we get yeah. from Tesla. And we may have found some more cool things inside. So, let's finish our run. Are you tired, man? What was your, you want to show us your other favorite secret thing about the Tesla? Here's my other favorite thing. So we're at the Tesla supercharger. Retro Palooza is going on, whatever that is. But the cool thing I like is meeting new people. Oh my gosh, look at this beautiful Model X. Up from Austin. We just talked about the entire supercharger network. How charging at Tesla's is like uh, peeing at urinals. Is that what we learned about? <laughs> yeah. But uh, dude. Thank you for showing us your app. Can you pop open the door? Everybody loves yeah, the Yeah, well, door. since I'm, I'm using my app because I don't have my key, so... Uh... See, that's another cool thing. You don't have to have your key. If you forget, you can use your app. Oh, look at that. I thought my car was driving like in a spaceship. That really is a spaceship. Elon's going to take us to Mars in these things. <laughs> <laughs> He's working on it. That's cool. But these guys are in for the game. They're gonna go watch Green Bay lose. Lose to Dallas. Lose to Absolutely. Dallas. Yeah, we, we he all. Had, he had a question about that. He was. Yeah. No, I was waiting for Bennett. Bennett always does a prediction every Saturday, every Sunday when we do a run. So far, you've been, you know, let down by the Cowboys a couple times, but. Yeah. <laughs> They're gonna win today, right? Well, I, I... All right, we're gonna. Sh Bennett's gonna show us this little switch that he found. Hey. <laughs> And we're joined by little bro. What's up, Ellis? I just got finished buckling. Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> so we are in the rear seats of the Model S. Pardon my messy garage. We do have a Tron and turbo. We okay. have a messy garage as long as you have video games in it. It's okay, right? Hey. Yeah. So where is? You might, you know, so you. I thought, you know, you assume you can get out. I thought the switch would be somewhere here. Where's the switch to close it? Right here. So you're making it go up right now. That makes it go down. Bye. So there they are. <laughs> Back of the well, and they can open it from there. So it's a little window-looking switch. Right? I'm gonna. They just tried to kill me. <laughs> it's a little window switch. So you push it one way to open it, one way to the other way to close it, correct? Move your fingers! Okay. Bye-bye. Here we go. Bye. Move your fingers! All right. Back in the car. Yep. So you just showed your favorite switch that you found? Yeah. That's a cool, mm -hmm. that's a cool thing. That's your favorite, like, hidden thing that we found so far. Uh, so let's go over some questions people have still. So... I'm gonna address these probably in a different video, but we'll address some of them now. Like, how do you afford a Tesla? How do you do the CPO stuff? That probably owes more time than we can do, but I'm definitely gonna do that because I think that's a, a cool thing. Couple questions I've gotten is, how far can you drive? Right, so two, 250 is what I get on a full charge, right? They say don't fully charge it, so 230. So let's just say 230 to 250. Um, I usually do it just when I supercharge. That way, when I get home, I'm kind of hovering around 90%. That's what they say, though. So two things you got to know about the car is they don't like it. It doesn't like it when it's full all the time. Um, and um, the range on an 85 kilowatt, obviously, the bigger battery you get, the longer you can go. Mine's an 85, so it gets about 250 for the full charge. And it does degrade after a couple of years, so not sure how many miles I've lost off the thing, but let's, I think they say it's three or four miles a year, so 10 miles. The other thing is, uh, this is different in different cars, but the 
the cruise control is the higher stock. The turn signals are this lower stock down here. I kind of, like normal car, my car, it's up here in the middle, so the turn signal is really low, but it's good because you have your finger on the volume of the radio. You can have your back fingers right here to turn the signals, so it's kind of cool. The other thing I realized is that the signals have like a little up, and if you notice that makes it blink, click for th blink for three, three clicks. So that's like for lane changing and stuff. Then you can have a hard push where it clicks, and then that'll keep it on clicking. So I didn't realize that. So it's kind of nice. You just got to give it a little tap, and it starts your lane change thing. So you can just kind of up and down it. And again, it's right here so that your thumb and everything is right on the on the steering wheel controls and you can kind of just, you know, go up and down, cancel your things and stuff like that. So that's kind of cool. Cruise control is a little, for me, a little out of the way, but you can get your finger right on it. So when you want to turn it on, you push it in and it turns it on. You get a little light there. And then set up and down is just up and down. That's really all it is. You can, you can cancel it by pulling it towards you and um, I think uh, cancel it by going back out. Oh no, you turn it on by coming to you and canceling it by going out. So, they're stealing their Model X over there. <laughs> Always keep your fob on you folks. No, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna call the cops on you. I'm calling the cops. Okay, back to this. I love, I love meeting people with superchargers, don't you? Uh, anyway, so that is another little trick. Again, these are super little things. Um, we learned some other stuff here. Um, your, all your controls are here, right? I think we kind of showed you the touch screen with the sunroof and all that stuff. Super cool. Um, I got a tip, uh, you know, when you use your... Uh, you close that. Our neighbors are so loud. Super jerk. Jeez. Um, but so a couple things here that I like to do. Um, number one is driving. Um, this is where you kind of set your driving style, okay? And what I mean by that is when you drive in the electric car, it's a little bit different. So, you know, it's do it doesn't idle, so to speak. Um, and when you let your foot off the brake, it does what's called regenerative braking. So here you can turn on creep mode. Creep. <laughs> uh, and this is a little bit like, so if you're in a normal uh, internal combustion engine car, when you let off the gas, it creeps forward, right? The RPMs of the car moving forward. So this will simulate that when you have it on. I like it that way um, just because it's the way, you know, I've gotten used to driving. Uh, I've tried turning it off. The thing I don't like about it, it feels a little it just feels a little, I don't know, uneasy. Like you feel like you're, you do rock back a little bit. So I kind of like the, the forward motion. Uh, I like the regenerative braking because I've really gotten used to it. You kind of have to feather your gas in and out. Uh, you can turn it to low and it will kind of not grab as hard uh, braking when you let your foot off the gas. So you can do that too. Uh, steering mode, you can change how it feels too. What are you gonna say? I was gonna ask what's it yeah, so the different steering modes. I haven't really uh, played around with it too much other than when we first got it. But when you change them, Comfort, it really, it gives you like, it just kind of is a little more play. It's easier to do. Standard um, is firm. You know, I feel like I really have control of the car. And Sport is really tight. So you're actually having to move it a little bit more. So it's just basically the assistance that you get because everything is, is electronic. So. It tightens up the steering wheel a little bit. So it's kind of fun. Cool. So that's pretty cool. I think uh, the other thing is, uh, we learned this the other day, there's a clean mode. So when you hit that button, it cleans the car. You don't have to take it to a car wash anymore. Car wash? Is that true? Is that what happens with that? <laughs> what? All right, you want to show them clean mode? So what you want to do is keep a microfiber in your car at all times. Then you hit that clean mode button. Hey, look, it's us, Bennett. And look, so when you, the one thing, it's just like an iPad, like you get a ton of fingerprints. So clean mode lets you clean the, the touchscreen without setting things and going crazy about it. 
so pretty cool. Bennett's job is to put it into clean mode sometimes. Oh yeah, there you go. Show them how you exit clean mode. Until it tells you to, and you hold down, and you get a fingerprint on it. <laughs> then you get a first fingerprint. All right, so that's really good. The other tip that we got when we first got it, can you pull the, the adapter around there? So you'll get a charger thing with your car, um, and it'll come with three adapters, one for the wall, one for a 1450 plug, so those what you are normally keep at home. And then this one is a adapter for like an EVgo or a public charging sta station to Tesla. So keep this in the glove box because you'll always need it in the glove box. They even made a little, just kind of like a little indent there on the on the side for it. You just kind of stick it in there. Always keep that with you, even if you don't have your plug with you, because um, at malls and EVgo stations, you always need that. So that was a good tip. If I didn't know that, that would have been I wouldn't have been able to charge at the mall the other day. So. More good tips. Uh, what else? Oh, I learned another website. This is really cool. One thing I miss about the Google Maps uh, navigation, it's really good. You get everything you need on there, traffic and everything. The only thing you don't get is the cop data from Waze. Why would we need the cop data? Um, Maybe because I've already gotten a speeding ticket. Red so, yeah, Red car. Oh, man, lots of reasons. So if you go to this website, teslawazeexcelsis.com, tesla-ways.excelsis.com. What this guy's done, great, great job here, is to just take your location and put whatever um, Waze data is on there. So I keep it on there now, and uh, it it's a north up, so it doesn't do like you know your your turn turn by turn stuff down here. But I can at least look along along my route and see construction, and I can also see cops. And hopefully, that will help me out. All right. Any other cool stuff? The other cool thing is, so Tesla has a drawer down here. Not, they don't have a drawer, sorry, they don't have a drawer. They have a cubby hole, is what they call it, right? That cubby hole, for all practical purposes, is, is pretty useless. Anything you put in there is gonna fall out. There's a couple people aftermarket. I am super cheap. I found this on eBay. It is not made well. It is not particularly pretty. And it does not fit, even though it comes from a company called Top Fit. It does not fit exactly. It's so ironic. It's, it's the most ironic thing ever. So uh, it doesn't fit really well. It's not made really well. But it was only 18 bucks. So hey, I'm down with that. Top Fit also makes. So how many cup holders are in a Tesla? One, normally. two, two, three. Three. There's if you get one the, in the there's back. one in the rear seat, which is very strange. But it only comes with these two cup Sometimes. holders that are right there. I took it from the dealer. That's it. So, for 60 bucks, you can get from a company called Top Fit on eBay uh, this little insert for, they call this the yacht floor down here. And it adds two more cup holders. They're actually really functional. Uh, it, again, ironic to the name, uh, it's called Top Fit. It does not fit. Like, it, like you see the gap here. So, I guess I'm assuming that they made it before they did all this stuff. So, uh, but it has a nice place for your glasses and your phone and some other stuff that you have around here. Sorry for the mess. We just did some filming. Um, but yeah, very, very cool, right? So now, so now we have four. Oh, our neighbors are at it again. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think those are some more cool, neat things. What do you think? Again, I love everything about it I'm loving everything um, we'll give you some more tips uh, we'll talk about range I think when you're buying we're talking about buying a CPO we'll talk about buying uh, a new car we'll talk about uh, you know how you can afford it what do you budget for um, this guy over here uh, we had a great talk um, that is a 100d model X 2016 model uh, and a very spectacular car but when you figure in gas, ownership, all this other stuff like that. Actually quite affordable. Well, let's not call it affordable. Let's yeah. call it, um, let's call it worth. very value worthy. Yeah, cost. Not a bad value, let's say that. Okay? I think we did really great with our Tesla CPO. Uh, we'll talk more in detail on it. I think everyone should probably look at it if you're looking for a new car. Uh, and a lot of people are gonna be getting Model 3s. We thought about getting a Model 3. 
but ended up with a Model S. Uh, there's a Model S. That's almost ours, but we don't have those big, big 21 inch rims. Very cool. Very distracting. It's like a ride here. All right, guys. We'll talk to you later. Super Charger moments. Bye.